go. How are you doing, you guys? I came to bring you guys some energy. Listen, I'm going to be talking to Virgos, okay? But I'm also going to be talking to Cross Watchers in this, okay? I, I sat down and I meditated over this energy. You know, as I was pulling these cards, the only thing I was saying, and my husband can verify this, the only thing I was saying was, mm, 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 mm. That's all I was saying. Because let me tell you something. Cross watcher, you this usually I always invite cross watchers to watch the video. This video I'm inviting cross watchers to watch. All right, because see, this is the thing. All right, uh, and I pulled extra cards just to just, you know, just to make sure. Okay, this is the situation, y'all. All right, there, and, and the reason why I, I'm, I'm I'm talking to Virgo, okay, but right now I'm talking to cross watcher, okay. <laughs> Listen, there's three what sides of a Virgo, all right? Three prevalent sides, okay, of a true Virgo, okay? One is, love you, I love you too, baby, that sweet, loving, kind, giving, you know, um, shy, um, really doesn't want um, to be in the spotlight, but very driven, okay? Very ambitious, very organized, okay? And what, whatever that may be, okay? Um... The other one is the flip side, okay? The beast mode. The the wildebeest that has completely went up and down through there, okay? And you don't even recognize them anymore, okay? But there is another side, okay, of our goal that I really don't really talk about much, okay? But this right here has come up, okay? Um, and that is the 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 ability for them to become invisible, all right? And when I say that, I mean fall off the map. Okay, see, as long as a Virgo, first of all, if you done push the Virgo, okay, to, and I'm talking about a, a person in a relationship, because this, is, this was a relationship, okay, if you done cause the Virgo to show you their other side as far as they be small side, okay, um, listen, they're upset, oh, they're very upset, okay, at that point. And sometimes it really is just no coming back just on that alone, okay? But sometimes Virgo will go back and they'll think about the things that they've said. They'll think about their behavior and how they have acted. And, you know, they'll, you know, you know, put it, you know, and, you know, put it in perspective, okay? After they done went, lost their damn mind, okay? Um, and they'll, you know, come back and, you know, be like, okay, well, maybe I shouldn't have acted quite this way all right now you ain't gonna get a virgo to be like i was dead ass wrong period all right not no true virgo okay um but you you know like i said you, they got a reason for for going there okay this right here feels to me like that third side that ice cold that fell off the map that you don't exist virgos have this very cutting way of making someone feel like they just don't even exist okay and you'll be questioning it she'll be like well you know we had this and we got kids and you know what i'm saying and and you know uh we didn't spend years and yeah they they the ones okay that you can see at the grocery store you this, this, this is it that you they the ones that you can have a relationship with for five years, okay? And they don't talk to you no more. They'll see you in the grocery store and they'll walk right past you as if they've never seen you a day in their life, okay? that That's that's Virgo energy, okay? Well, this is what somebody is getting right here, okay? And the reason why you're getting this, Cross Watcher, is because um, there has been a lot of stuff that's going, that has went on in you guys' relationship, okay? Um, when you guys had one, all right? Or... Uh, yeah, but also too, uh, for whoever this is for, and I told the whole extra card, y'all, listen, facts of the matter is, is that this Virgo done moved on, okay, I, I pulled extra card, this Virgo done found a twin flame, this Virgo mirrors somebody else, and this Virgo, that love that you used to feel from that Virgo, somebody else is feeling it, okay, and, and let me tell you another thing about Virgo, okay, Virgo, achieves they're an achiever all right um they are the perfectionists of the zodiac okay so where there's that they did not perfect you cross watcher you need to understand whatever lessons they learned from dealing with you they have 
up their skills, okay? So as they were loving you the way they thought, you see what I'm saying? You know, that was wonderful. And I'm giving you, you know, I'm, I'm giving this, I'm showing up in this relationship. I'm this, that, and the third. Okay, guess what? Now they're doing it even harder. They're going in even harder with this, this new person because that's what Virgo does. They level up. They're the perfectionist of the Zodiac, okay? So I want to put that out there for you because there is somebody saying, don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it, okay? Well, I don't even really feel like somebody is treating somebody any kind of way, okay? What I feel is somebody is ignoring the hell out of somebody and somebody is got dang on not existing anymore okay it's that energy it's it's an energy of you don't exist okay now can a virgo come up out of that energy y'all that depend on the virgo you see what i'm saying that depend on the virgo but you got somebody saying i can't let it go of you and don't treat me the way you do i don't deserve it and we got drama okay so this is the cross watcher uh situation okay it's gonna be some drama you need to understand that especially if Somebody can't let somebody go. This could be Virgo's energy. This could be don't treat me the way you do because I don't deserve it. Okay. And what's going to end up happening is that it's going to be some drama. Okay. And what that drama is going to be is I'm going to end up leaving you alone. Okay. That's what then you're not going to like it. Okay. You're not going to like it. You think you will. You think you will. Okay. You know, people got all the sense when they got somebody. Okay. As soon as they realize they ain't got them no more, okay, see, now we up in this here page, swords energy, spying and gossiping and, and you know what I'm saying, trying to find out as much information about somebody, somebody being nosy and, and cunning and manipulative, looking at somebody's social media, you know, reading old text messages and god dang on, you know, going down memory lane and carrying on, you know, all of that stuff, y'all, to me is... It's, it's too much. And the reason why is, is because when you have someone, appreciate them when you have them. Don't start appreciating somebody when you ain't got them. No, that, that's ass backwards, okay? It, that don't even make no sense. When you have the person, okay, treat them like you don't want to lose them. You see what I'm saying? Because if you treat them like you don't want to lose them, that means you're showing up in this relationship. That means you're present. You see what I'm saying? That means I'm not taking you for granted because, first of all, life ain't guaranteed. We ain't guaranteed to be here tomorrow. That's number one. Number two, there's 8 billion people on this planet. Okay? And for you to spend whatever kind of time that you're spending with me, you know, you that's one thing we don't get back, y'all. We don't get back time. That is the best thing somebody can give you is their time because that is the thing that they, they can't get back. When you got somebody that's giving you their time and their love and their commitment and, and whatever, can, yes, of course, nothing is perfect, okay? Yes, arguments carry it on, you know what I'm saying? Yes, you, you know, you may feel taken advantage of all this other type of stuff, okay? That's a part of it. But at the same time, look, if you love somebody, appreciate them when they're there. Okay, don't, don't, it's no point. I remember one time my mom told me, and my mom is a very wise individual, very gifted person, okay? She's high priestess on, on every level, y'all. But she said, what's the point of loving somebody if they don't know it? What's the point of loving somebody if they don't, if they don't know it? If they don't feel it? And another thing she told me, when she told me that is, is it's not about the love. Somebody can love you from here to across the street. But how does that love make you feel? You see what I'm saying? So it's about somebody knowing and it's about somebody feeling it. You see what I'm saying? That came from a very wise woman, which I love. Hey, mom. But anyway, yeah. So we got the hangman here, okay? This is you, them. Virgo, you find yourself wherever you are. Cross watcher, you find yourself wherever you are. Um, this could be your person, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, because I don't know, y'all. I just, you know, I've been studying astrology for 12 years, y'all. I just know the energy, okay? So, you know, we got somebody in hangman mode, okay? We got somebody in the four of cups in hangman mode, all right? Before I start throwing words at you, let me just go on ahead and tell you what that means. I mean, I don't give a fuck no more, okay? That's what that means, okay? And unless you come up with some information that I'm not privy to that will change my mind, which usually I have all the information before I get here into this four cups, okay? Before I just don't give a damn anymore. But unless you have some pertinent information for me, okay? 
uh, I'm going to remain in this here hangman mode and I'm going to continue not to give a fuck. Okay. That's what that means. Okay. I don't give a fuck no more. It's just that simple. Okay. You got somebody saying, I can't let go of you. You got somebody in uh 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 page swords energy. So you got one individual in the page swords energy, and you got one individual in hangman energy. Okay, this is limbo. This is self improvement. This is um, you know, waiting for something. This is a stagnant non movement. Okay, this is somebody that's steadily getting enlightenment. This is next to hermit. All right, um makes me feel like Virgo done already been in the hermit mode. This is the reason why they in hangman mode, if this is Virgo, okay? Um, nonetheless, you, this is survival, okay? Um, this is, um, sacrifice, stagnation, need some enlightenment, okay? Sacrificed what? Need enlightenment on what? Why are we in limbo? Why are we stagnant? Because ain't nothing shaking right now. It's just that somebody ain't nothing shaking. I tell you what it is shaking. No, some some of y'all, somebody twin flame to showed up on the scene, okay? And yes, they are very much so in their energy, y'all. And I will be pulling cards for that, okay? Listen, we got another individual that says I can't let you go. Don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it, okay? We got somebody gossiping here. We got somebody all up on somebody's somebody social media. We got somebody... Um, that's wishing and hoping on a star because this is the first energy out, okay? Um, that some type of change is going to take place. They're finding out whatever they can find out, y'all. I mean, this is... Page of Swords itself, okay, is a very nosy card but at the in energy. But at the same time, uh, it is a page, okay? Um, this is somebody who is immature, this is somebody that even if they were to find out the information that they need, I don't really necessarily know they even know what to do with the information, okay? Because you do got Virgo over here in uh, Limbo, okay? You do got Virgo over here wants some enlightenment or will entertain some enlightenment, okay? Um, but with this individual right here, you know, they're they talking about Virgo. They're gossiping, you know, they maybe even get reaching out to family and friends, okay? Wanting to talk about Virgo. Um... They're being very clever, y'all. They feel like they got all the sense, okay? And the reason why is because, and this is a very rebellious individual as well, okay? Nosy too. But listen, the reason why is because they're not getting any information from Virgo, all right? Or Cross Watcher, okay? Listen, it could go either way. Y'all put it where it go, okay? Because somebody can't let go. I can't let go of you, okay? We got drama at the end of this, all right? And the reason why we got drama is because somebody in the Four of Swords, don't treat me the don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it. Yeah, somebody got the phoenix here, okay? Somebody rises from the ashes. This feels like somebody gonna feels a, a missing in action. A, a you don't exist, a, you know, energy, you know. I can't let go of you. We got cassette with the page of swords and the damn star, okay? So listen. Cassette. Throw some words out at you. Outdated thinking, okay? Replaying events continually over in somebody's head. Somebody got outdated thinking, which makes me feel like it's an ex. Thinking that they know Virgo, okay, which they don't. You know, they do, they do but they don't, okay. It's like I said, it's several, it's several serious, you know, three prevalent signs, sides of them now. Listen, whoever this person is that's doing this gossiping, this spying, this, this, you having all this curiosity, you know what I'm saying? This rebellious, nosy, immature individual. This person, happiness is um, surrounding this energy, okay? They have a lot of wishes. Um, when it comes down to these memories that they keep replaying over and over again, it, it, it's, it, it brings them some type of peace, okay? They, they want some achievement. They want some type of luck, okay? They, they they got hope beyond hope. They want healing. They want a new beginning. Um, They want commitment, okay, with this person, all right? I can't let you go, okay? So we got the phoenix, okay? Somebody in this energy, Virgo, y'all choose, you know what I'm saying? This is a new phase. This is rekindle, okay? This is um transformation growth a changed mind okay 
we got we got the king of wands down here okay not you know king of wands normally is um a fire sign you guys but listen you know when Virgo switches in today you know other sides you know hey they can be tyrannical okay okay this is this is i'm gonna throw some words at you okay innovative boldness very very bold okay bold, bold as hell all right daring optimistic action oriented very sharp fearless honest strong friendly natural leader and finesser all of those words or none of those words okay up underneath the phoenix it's the energy y'all up underneath this changed mind up underneath this new phase somebody rose from ashes y'all okay so not only were they who they were before somebody also whoever this person is that rose from the ashes okay of the deceit the deception the disappointment the abandonment abandonment the um let down the frustration whoever rose from the ashes of that also took upon this boldness about them okay this daringness about them this optimist this action oriented this passionate this strong natural leader okay this sharp person who's fearless all right then we got both this is receiving what you what you need okay progression arriving moving on or closure issues we got drama right there about that okay but we also have like i said okay here we go solitude loneliness anxiety death grief stress need to rest fear recuperation introspection overwhelm self-protection and retreat okay somebody coming after somebody here all right Somebody who done fell back is coming after somebody here, all right? Because somebody got closure issues. Somebody done rose from ashes, okay? Maybe from a finesse, all right? Somebody done rose from the ashes of some type of drama. Somebody keep on replaying some type of relationship over and over with the star card. We got twin flames mirroring love over here, okay? So if this is not Virgo, Okay, you need to understand that somebody done moved on. Okay, somebody done found a twin that mirrors each other. They fit like pieces and they got a love. This is this is on the cards I pulled, y'all. I'm just saying. I stopped pulling because I'm just saying that that's enough for me. Okay, we'll clarify that. We gonna clarify all this. Okay, but yeah, you I really truly feel like it's a uh, listen. Okay, if somebody feel like pulling up, okay, if you're if you're dealing with a Virgo, okay, and they have literally fell off the map, okay, they're not dealing with you in any kind of way, shape, fashion, or form, listen, best thing to do is please don't do drama, okay, you don't want to do that, okay, and the reason why is because, I mean, they are the perfectionists of the Zodiac, y'all, you need to understand that they're very strategic, they're very organized, okay, they see you coming, they're six steps ahead of you in the game of chess, you know, you see those people that play chess, they're they already six moves ahead, you see what I'm saying, they already know, thing about it is, is this is not what you want to do, especially when they have, they, they, they just don't, somebody don't want nobody here no more, okay, somebody is like, I've already given to you, Okay, and the reason why I say this because that somebody got the phoenix. Okay, there's no way in the world that somebody's gonna rise from the ashes. Okay, unless there was some ashes. All right, so listen, somebody is saying I've already given to you. I've already given me to you. Apparently, it wasn't enough. Okay, I know that I've done the best that I can, and the reason why is because you know I have all this energy here. Okay, and then on top of that, apparently I have because somebody can't let somebody go here. Okay. And then on top of that, somebody keep thinking about somebody here, all right? So, listen, I done gave you my best. I done gave you my all, all right? Now, I don't want you no more, and I have risen from the ashes. And not only have I risen from the ashes, I've risen into a better individual, okay, on every level, for real, for real. And not only that, I've already found my twin, or my twin is on the way, and which mirrors me, and which loves me. And I will read those cards, okay? But, yeah, this is what we have. So, Crosswatcher, this is one of these videos that I invite for you guys to really watch, all right? Because if you've done something to a Virgo, okay, 
and uh you're getting this side of the Virgo, don't don't keep poking the bear, is what I'm saying. All right, don't keep poking the bear. Now, one thing I will say is that somebody in this same mode, man, they will entertain enlightenment, okay? So if it's something that Virgo doesn't really know, right? If it's something that Virgo has no clue about, which is a very rare occasion, by the way, because when they make a move, okay? Listen, they're open to some enlightenment. So something could change, all right? Something could. This star energy right here, this healing new, new beginning, um, that could change, all right? It could be vice versa. It could be Virgo that's sitting here thinking, okay? And that's finding out as much information as they possibly can, okay? With some type of fire sign, all right? Could be. Okay, but then they can't let them go. And it could be Virgo saying, don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it. But listen, if that is the case, and somebody else has found their twin flame, they're marrying each other and somebody love, that's the case, listen, that's not going to be a long energy, okay? Because one thing about most Virgos is most Virgos know how to let go, okay? It's just, that's part of their, um, you know, they just, they, they just know, they know how to let go, y'all. It's just that simple. And they, not that they want to, all right? But they know how to, and they know how to do it well, okay? So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and start clarifying this energy. Um, but before I do, I want to thank my um, my day ones, my um, new and recent subscribers, you guys. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for contributing to the channel in the way that you guys have. Um, with your subscriptions, I, it has done nothing but help the channel grow, and I really appreciate you. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel, please accept my invitation to subscribe. There are so many things that's going on. Free reads, there's free reads, monthly giveaways, um, tarot cards, oracle cards. Listen, there's three ways to get a free read, you guys. Go in the description box, look under uh, number three and number four, okay? Um, and you guys will find out all the different ways. The only thing that I ask is that you be a verified subscriber and that you comment once, uh, comment um, down below. The more you guys comment, the more chances you guys have to win. I always say that in the comments when I'm, when I'm returning comments, okay? Um, and it's okay to comment on something. You know, I might pick up some energy from you guys. There's a lot of times I pick up energy from people who are in my comments, and I'll go ahead and um, maybe pull a card or, you know, whatever is on my spirit, I'll go ahead and, and say it, okay, in the comments. So you guys might get some answers down there as well. So go ahead, don't, don't have, you know, don't hesitate and comment it, okay? Um, but yeah, I announced my winners once a month. Um, and, and that's going to be, you know, for all of them. Um, the third way to get a um, free read is the people who donate to my channel, you guys, monetarily. That information is found in number four, okay? So go check that out, you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and clarify this because this is a whole mess, all right? You guys, and what I don't like about it is I don't like the drama, okay? There's going to be some drama here, all right? There's going to be some drama here. Holy Spirit, you want Yeah, this is somebody is really replaying some, and I want to find out what I'm gonna find out first is I'm gonna find out find out this move on. About this twin flame, this mirror, somebody and all this. Somebody done found somebody, or somebody is coming in somebody's energy, y'all. Cause I got twin flame here, okay. I got yin yang balance, unique um, union duality, coupling, um, complementing each other. Okay, this is somebody's twin. All right, who mirrors each other? Okay, mirroring each other, self image, relationships reflect uh, our wants. Yeah, relationships reflect our wants. This introspection. This person fits hand in, like a hand in glove. We got love here. This is unconditional self love. Okay. Um, passion, affection, attraction, okay? Yeah, this is unconditional love with somebody's twin, all right? So Holy Spirit, tell me about it for your sons and your daughters. Yeah, see? Soulmate, four of wands, okay? Somebody found somebody here, okay? Somebody found so they soulmate, twin flame, uh, marriage, engagement, anniversary. There's some Virgos here that are, you know, on the brink of marriage, engagement, anniversary, celebration, gatherings. You know, this is happy times, okay? They have found the person for them, all right? 
it's just that simple and that's what i felt okay when i was meditating over this energy but tell me about this hangman holy spirit if somebody is in this this energy okay uh y'all pick you know i don't necessarily know hold on I don't, I don't know if I felt that card right. For your sons or daughters, your glory. Hey, man. Why'd you have him pick this card? Whoever y'all all the way at the end of the day. Y'all. Here we go. planning to one somebody been thinking all right somebody been thinking whoever is this one that self-improved done surrender in limbo okay um uncertain uh sacrifice something all right or waiting for something to sacrifice stagnant okay um waiting for enlightenment or is enlightened has done an awful lot of planning okay feels like virgo energy because i see over analyzing here um, making decisions, okay, somebody done decided or will be deciding to leave comfort, okay, you guys pick a word, okay, um, making decisions, leaving comfort, possibly, okay, over analyzing, okay, not really taking any action, avoiding any type of risk, okay, so this is plotting and planning uh, in hangman mode, hang mode, okay, so, uh, oh, Holy Spirit, tell me more, Yeah, and thinking, juggling, to listen, okay, you got, okay. Thought, making decisions, up and down emotions, okay, juggling, mixed message, decisions. So you got the two of wands and you got the two of coins, okay. So listen, uh, whoever's in this here hangman hey model done already thought about it, okay. Only thing I don't see is the hermit. They didn't already thought about it. They're 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 into self improvement, okay. They regardless if they have to leave, how they have to leave their comfort zone or not, okay. You could have walked away. They could have walked away. It doesn't matter. Bottom line is is this is self improvement right here. This is somebody going and thinking and planning and plotting on how to come up, come up out of whatever situation they're in, okay. That is that's that's the energy of it, okay was is now okay y'all y'all take what resonate leave what don't okay all right so listen we got somebody here that's uh in the page of swords okay this is the gossiping okay this is the you know the nosiness the the, the looking on the computer finding out you know all that okay yeah what they finding out is that somebody don't want they're not just tell you somebody don't want somebody here okay somebody is not interested all right period whoever this is Whoever is in this hang mode, man, hang man mode is in the four cups. They don't give a fuck. Okay? It's just that simple. They don't care. All right? They don't give a fuck. They in the four swords. All right? They done fell all the way back. But before they did this, they thought about it, y'all. Okay? You need to understand, this is somebody who has a history. All right? Because you got the phoenix here. You got, in order to, you know, I'm just saying. Give me more, Holy Spirit, please. Please, what I what concerns me is the drama part. Yeah, they're not interested. They move. Whatever happened, happened quick, okay? Listen, all this thought mode that somebody was in, all this, you know, you know, making a decision, overanalyzing. Listen, once they came today, um, they, they, you know, what they're going to do, they moved quickly, all right? Maybe too hastily, okay? Maybe this is the... Don't treat me uh, the way you do. I don't deserve it, okay? Because they did. They moved very hastily, okay? This was very, very, very fast movement to I don't give a fuck, okay? Very fast movement to it, all right? Somebody made their decision, you know, of I don't give a fuck very quickly. And maybe that's why somebody feels like, did you really, you know, care about me? You see what I'm saying? Yes, they did care about you. They, they loved you, too. Is, you know what I'm saying? Somebody made somebody happy. But listen, <clears throat> excuse me, what made somebody happy even more is to get themselves back, okay? It, to not deal with somebody here, all right? But yeah, if somebody loves somebody here. Talk about cassette. For your sons and your... 
Because we got Virgo, we got the Empress. All right, so listen, it's either the Empress thinking, which is a Virgo towards Capricorn, who is thinking about, I have first of all, got outdated thinking, okay? But replaying stuff over and over in one's mind, okay? Memories, going down memory lane, all right? Or there is somebody in this energy who is thinking about the Empress and it, they're going, you know, down memory lane, all right? And wanting this here star wig. Somebody might got, got somebody pregnant here. Um, you know, like I said, this is the Empress. She, this person is nurturing, okay? Maybe a baby mama, baby daddy. So, oh, you know, this is a major alchemist, y'all. It's a major manifester, all right? I mean, it's Empress. What the hell? Give me more of this bird. Give me, what is the Empress doing? Somebody thinking about the Empress. Or the Empress thinking about somebody. It's one of y'all. Unless you're dealing with another Virgo towards Capricorn. And it sat up here and took upon this energy. Didn't I tell you it, it feels like Virgo done took upon this King of Wands energy? Yep. Well, that's what happened. All right. And now this person, you know, listen... You need to understand the shadow side of Queen of Wands, okay? Queen of Wands shadow side is very reckless, y'all. Really do not think before they do things, okay? This is a witch. You need to understand that, okay? This is somebody who will light some candles on you, all right? And could do some spell work. Yes, they're sexy and vivacious. Yes, but you need to understand this person is very passionate. But uh, when they operate in this here energy, yeah, this, 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 you know... That's why I'm concerned about the drama, okay? Like, if you have seen the wildebeest in the Virgo, it goes so much more deeper than that, okay? It really just do. And that's why I don't want the drama, okay? Okay, Holy Spirit, what is she doing? Or this could be a fire sign that's thinking about. Okay, look, yeah, look, family. That's the only thing this Empress care about is the family. This Empress got money, you okay? So somebody is sitting up here going down memory lane about this family. Didn't I tell you this could be a baby mama, baby daddy? This could have been a husband, wife, okay? Higher union. But they're thinking about this family, okay? They're thinking about the shadow side of this here Empress, all right? The shadow side, this witch, okay? This, this person who just don't give a fuck, okay? This person who has switched all the way up on them and they don't even recognize them anymore okay they're thinking about this family that they had they're thinking about all of this money this is 10 coins okay this is generational wealth somebody is heir heiress here somebody got money this is this is generational wealth somebody is going down memory lane they got the star up underneath this car is keep tingling what is this okay listen somebody is buck wild okay this is the reason why this has come to an end. Remember I said in order for some, a phoenix to rise from the ashes, there had to be ashes. Well, somebody was whole here, okay? Somebody is thinking about their hoeish behavior, their buck wildness, okay? If they was not a hoe, if they was not promiscuous, they still was buck wild and handling somebody here in, in a way that they really didn't need to handle them, okay? They're regretting this. They're going down memory lane because what they had was an empress. They had a family and they had money, okay? By the way, a lot of it. Okay, so I'm just saying, I, I, you know, don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it. I can't let go of you. Yeah, it's a, somebody buck wild the messed up this family. You need to understand. Not a wands is it's clarifying this family. Okay, somebody did something reckless, completely reckless. If they wasn't a hoe and when they wasn't sleeping around, listen, they did something completely reckless. Okay, yeah. Holy Spirit, tell me more about this cassette. Mm. So either the one that was buck wild that messed his family up, okay, with this here empress, this Virgo towards Capricorn, um, either they're upping their skills and their talents, their um, standards are becoming higher, they're mastering what they do, and they are very dedicated, okay, maybe that's the enlightenment they want to give Virgo, okay, is that I'm different now. All right, I, I, I've up my skills, I've up my maturity level, and all that, okay, or that's Virgo energy and that has up their skills, okay, um, and their talent, you know. Holy Spirit, tell me more about this cassette. They're thinking, or they're thinking about getting better and upping their skills. Yeah, somebody's confused, okay. This is the reason why somebody's confused. Somebody got a whole lot of emotions, and somebody got a difficult decision to make. What? What is this? This is the reason why they keep going down memory lane. Okay, somebody's confused about walking away. 
Somebody had a difficult decision to make. Somebody is going down memory lane. Somebody abandoned somebody. Somebody walked away. Somebody left. Somebody left for selfish reasons. Somebody left because the grass is greener on the other side. Or somebody just gave up. Or somebody's just no longer fighting for the relationship. But somebody walked out on somebody here. They walked out on an empress. And they walked out on their family. Okay? It's just that simple. All right? So I don't know who the hell saying I can't let go. Yeah, listen. And they, whoever this person is, whoever this person is that walked out, not only was Buck Wow, they're coming up as pages, y'all, okay? Listen, this person is full of adventure, ambition, high energy, free spirit. They move too quick. They don't think about what they're doing. This is page energy. Remember we talked about page energy? Yeah, this is childlike energy, okay? You ain't got somebody confused. Who's confused? You, them, I don't know, okay? All as I know is somebody walked out on the Empress and their family. That's what I know, all right? Holy Spirit, tell me uh, about the star. Because now somebody, you know, look, they look, listen, they want to not, they want to come bring somebody an offer of love here, all right? They're hoping and wishing and praying, okay? They're trying to get as much um, information as they possibly can. But you need to understand that this person, whoever is trying to bring this love, Whoever got this star, they're going through misfortune and loss right now, okay? They might be sick, okay? They ass is in the cold. They're going through some They're going through some type of hardship, y'all. And it all got something to do with their own self-sabotaging. Is That's what it do. That's what it is. That's the reason why they're going down memory lane thinking about Virgo or thinking about the Empress. Holy Spirit, give me more because they're having a hard time. They might got money problems. I mean, that is the Five of Pentacles, okay? They want to see something grow or they want... To maybe continue with the seven of pentacles. Whatever they did have planned in the beginning with somebody. They want to. They now want to have patience to see it grow. Listen. Before I pull any cards. You need to understand. You got the five pentacles for the seven pentacles. Look. Ain't nothing fixing to grow. Whatever happened here. Somebody done pulled up the seeds. Okay. There's nothing growing here. Give me more husband. Yeah, and this was a sequence of events. <sighs> Hold on. Yeah, see, this energy right here of this left in the cold, this five of coins, this um, now I want to come back and, 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 and nurture what was growing. Okay, you need to understand it's dead, okay? The reason why is because there was too much walking away. There was too many uh, third parties. There was too much putting somebody over somebody else, okay? There was too much partying. There was too much putting on, too much wanting to be seen, too much gossiping, too much celebrating and too much, maybe in some of y'all cases, too much highly sexual activity cheating on this empress, okay? So, you know, what's going to happen here is, you know, with this five of, um, I mean, excuse me, with this here star, with somebody wishing and hoping the one that can't let go of somebody here, okay? It damn sure is going to be some drama because we got the five of wands now, okay? So when they decide to show their face, all right? Listen, we got conflict. This is confusion. This is beefing. This is fighting. This is shootouts. This is being attacked. This is being jumped, okay? This is somebody trying to set somebody up here. This is messiness, okay? This is gang-related. One or all of those words. But you need to understand, it means it's going down, okay? When they realize that it ain't going to be no picking up where we left off. It ain't going to be none of that. You see this? It's the two of cups in reverse, all right? That means whereas somebody used to love somebody, somebody was married to somebody, somebody had a reunion, soulmate, compatible friendship, love, ain't none of that no more, okay? And somebody ain't married no more. Somebody don't have no sacred reunion. It's not sacred at all. Matter of fact, it's very tainted, okay? Where somebody thought somebody was a soulmate, they're enemies at this point in the game. Where somebody was compatible at one point in the game, they're not compatible at all. There is no friendship here, okay? And the love is gone, all right? It just is. It's upside down, okay? So this is the reason why drama is here. And now we got the Phoenix, okay? We got the Phoenix that stepped up into this King of Wands energy, this fire energy, okay? To, so to whereas <clears throat> somebody is like, you know what? Let me fall back here with this Four of Swords and somebody's in the Four of Cups is 
I don't give a fuck, okay? I don't care nothing about you, or that's what that means, okay? Listen, somebody in the Four of Swords, they have willingly and um, consciously fell back, okay, from somebody. But they've also stepped up into this fire energy, okay? And this is where the problem is going to lie, all right, with this drama and with this here Five of um, Wands. I'm just going to tell you, okay? The Phoenix, Holy Spirit, it's not pretty energy. This is you have become my enemy. That's what this is. All right, listen, somebody, happiness, fulfillment, stability, security, love, family, happy home, coupled up, booed up, and caked up, okay? So somebody done got dang on rolls from the ashes here, all right? They're in a new phase. And what phase they're in is this here 10 of cups, all right? You know with who? With this twin flame connection, this love, and with this four of wands. That's what who, okay? Yeah. So I'm just saying, okay? So this person can be a fire sign or can have fire in their chart somewhere. Holy Spirit, tell me more about this. Um, okay, listen, an abundant as hell, all right? Listen, this is an engagement, y'all. This is an engagement. This is the nine of pentacles, y'all, okay? This is nine of pentacles. The only, person, the only thing this person needs is a pentacle, and they'll be married, all right? They're abundant on their own, but somebody also comes from money any damn way. One more pinnacle, that's going to emperor status up. That's what makes me feel like somebody used to be married here, okay? This is love, okay? You got this person, love, loyalty, father, husband, wife, mother, hard worker, okay? This person could have cheated before, all right? Emotional, um, emotional. Even though maybe not overly, overtly so, because this is the king of cups, okay? This is not the queen of cups, but nonetheless, okay, somebody got a Cancer Pisces Scorpio in their, um, you know, in their chart some here. Got something to do with some love here. Okay, listen, or just love, period, all right? They rose from the ashes and, and, and got them one of them is what I'm saying, okay? Listen, they're gonna, didn't I just tell you that? Didn't I say all they need is a pinnacle? Now we got Hierophant on the board, which is marriage, okay? And listen, that's also a Taurus. So it could be Cancer Pisces, uh, Scorpio, or a Taurus, okay, who is, uh, got dang on, dealing with this here pre-empress, all right, who only needs one pinnacle, all right, who already has the Ten of Cups with this individual, all right? Listen, somebody can't let go of somebody, okay? It's, it's going to be some problems. That's all I can tell you, okay? King of Wands energy. Then I just pass a card. Somebody's innovative, somebody's bold, okay? Somebody's optimistic, sharp. Fearless, okay, and whoever this person is is in the nine of swords, okay. They're fearful, anxiety. Somebody is okay. Um, negative thinking at a breaking point, despair, all kind of negative thoughts going on in the mind. Listen, somebody's left on red. Somebody um is not able to talk. Okay, if they are able to talk, then they're not on the same page. It's just that simple. Dealing with this, yeah. So it's either that person that's in that energy or whoever took upon this energy, okay, the other individual is feeling this way. Maybe that's the don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it, okay? That's, I don't know. Holy Spirit, give me more. But somebody damn sure is over here tripping. They can't call. They can't, you know, pull up. They can't, none of that. Cancel by Scorpio. Holy Spirit, give me more. Got options, okay? Mental problems or options. Not focused. Somebody is not focused. Somebody is not focused, was not focused, overanalyzing. They got too many choices, okay? Or they got mental problems, one or the other. Somebody is in the nine of swords. This is despair. This is fear. This is I can't talk. This, you know, somebody got cussed out here. Six of swords, y'all. change it's relocation okay this is not being from where somebody's from this is travel leaving past behind different backgrounds perhaps going into the unknown fire or water 
and his death here. Okay, so while this person took upon this energy, or this could be the person, okay, innovative, boldness, daring, optimistic, sharpness, action-oriented, fearless, passionate, honest, friendly, strong, natural leader, or finesser, or none of those things, all of those things, either they're the ones that's in despair, and they're blocked, or somebody has taken upon this here energy, okay, and left somebody in despair, and left and blocked somebody, okay, uh, listen, this person... Uh, is somebody who really, really does love somebody. First of all, they're coming up as a queen of cups, okay? So they love somebody where they're, they're very emotional, okay, about this situation. They're very emotional not being able to talk to this person. Very emotional about, you know, having all this uh fear and negative breaking point, breakdown, meltdown stuff going on here, okay? Um, This is Cancer Pisces Scorpio. If it's not a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, well, guess what? They love, all right? Problem is, is they too all over the place. Like I said, either they got mental problems or they just got way too many options, okay? They're not focused and they're overwhelmed with their choices. They need to change with the Six of Swords. They are coming to that um, that realization. Somebody do. Because it's either need to change or reluctant to change one or the other. This is upright, okay? So somebody need, knows, okay, with this here Seven of Cups that they need to change, all right? No. Yeah. Or they need to relocate. But you need, like I said, it doesn't matter if they change or not because guess what? They still met with death. They still met with an ending. So it doesn't matter. Either way, go. Like I said, somebody don't want nobody to here, okay? Holy Spirit, give me that. I mean, both. Give me both. This is closure issues, getting what you need. Somebody is a manipulator here, okay? We got the magician. Or somebody's manifesting one to the other. Just receiving what you want, progression, arriving, moving on, closing issues, okay? So it listens. Either somebody is manipulating somebody, somebody's tricking us, could be magic, okay? Somebody could be putting a spell on somebody here, okay? But at the same time, this could be manifestation. That's what the magician do. They He manifests. Nonetheless, somebody still is falling back. Give me more. What is the magician doing? Magician is ready to take a leap of faith, y'all. Optimistically and spontaneously so. Okay, against all odds. They're very fearless. All right. This is a fool. They already know their time would have been hit. They don't care nothing about that. They're very reckless and careless. And, you know, they're just being very foolish and, you know, willing to take an optimistic leap of faith. Okay. Give me more, Holy Spirit. Because they want their wishes granted, period. They want their nine of cups. So they're willing to risk it all, okay? Give me more. And I don't know why, because right up underneath, you got somebody in the four of swords. Yeah, because they, listen, they six of cups in reverse. They don't want this to be an ex situation. It's familiar. They don't want it to be an ex situation. So they're manipulating. They, they may even be doing spell work, okay? Yes, and dudes can do spell work, okay? So listen, you could be a female or a dude, all right? But nonetheless, somebody is either manifesting somebody, okay, or somebody is manipulating somebody on some type of level, okay. Um, but they will, they, you know, hey, you got the full energy out here. This optimistic leap of faith. This is blind. This is risking it all, y'all, okay, because they want their wishes granted. And you got, you got, they got the six of cups in reverse, all right. This six of cups is an X. That's X situation. They got it in reverse. They don't want it to be that way. They don't want this to be an X. I can't let go of you. I can't. Let go of you, okay? That's what this card says. But they a fool, though. And the reason why is because somebody in the Four of Swords. Not only is somebody in Four of Swords, somebody also in the Hangman. Plus, you got death here, y'all. I'm just saying, you know. But you got death in rebirth, so, I mean, it could be a possibility. So, anyway, tell me about this Four of Swords, Holy Spirit, please. This is the solitude. This is the loneliness. This is the death, anxiety. Listen, you got Five of Cups, okay? So, listen, they somebody... Wants to take a blind leap of faith and risk it all, okay? Because they love you and they, you know, they want marry. Well, no, no, this is the one that, this is the one you moved on to, okay? The one somebody moved on to, okay, wants to um, marry somebody here, okay? That's that. Now, listen, as far as this person that's not from where somebody's from, this person that, you know, had all these options, this Cancer Pisces Scorpio, who was up in a Nine of Swords, okay? Yeah, see, death is coming to that. 
but they're going to risk it all. They're going to they're they're going to say, I'm going to risk it all. I'm, I want to jump out here. I, I believe in this. Okay. Whoever is the one that walked away, okay? Or if you walked away, whoever is the one y'all has something and it ain't no more. Okay. So listen, somebody is in solitude, loneliness, anxiety, death, grief, stress, need to rest, fear, re recuperation, introspection, overwhelm, self-protection, retreat. One of the words, all those words, but listen. You can add loss, misfortune, depression, and grieving, sad, and uh, gloomy, okay? Can't get over their loss. I can't let go of you. Five of Cups, okay? Along with the Four of Swords. In other words, they don't stand a chance, the snowball's chance in hell, okay, is what I'm saying. Holy Spirit, give me more. This is what it feel like. But they got cassette. Oh, I'm just saying. They, they are thinking about this loss, Holding tight, holding tight to memories, may have money issues, being secretive, possessive. Give me more. Holding tight to hermit. That could be holding tight to Virgo or that could be, you know, whoever is this person got money problems going in, retreating, thinking. They're letting their boundary da boundaries down, you guys, with the Seven of Wands, okay? They're going to be coming very, very vulnerable, all right? They want to plant seeds for a brighter and brighter future. With somebody here, you or them. They see you as an opportunity, or somebody sees somebody here as an opportunity. That you're, they're, listen, attention is caught. It's not even attention is caught. Like it's, it's, it's more of a... I'm focused on what I want. I know what I want now. And see what I mean? You got the lovers that came out, okay? So this is choices. This is what they think you guys have, all right? They feel like they got a chance. Holy Spirit, give me more with this, with this lovers. This is a divine unity, you guys. This is what they feel. Whoever, you, them, you know what I'm saying? They want the page of cups. They want the new excitement and love. They want this love opportunity. They've been thinking about here with this outdated thinking, okay? Yeah, they're still emotional. This could be baby, baby, please. The Page of Swords, you know, page, excuse me, Page of Cups got a very bad reputation of begging, okay? They, they, when they know they did something wrong, it's baby, baby, please, okay? Yeah, but see, listen, they hemped up, though. They in the Eight of Swords, they're full of self-doubt. They may got legal problems. They're full of self-doubt. Um, they got self-esteem issues, okay? Um, they don't know who they are anymore. You know, this this is a very uh, unstable-minded individual, you know? Give me more. Somebody makes somebody feel less than here, okay? So either you make them feel less than or they make you feel less than, but it does not matter because they still want to talk with this eight of wands. This is a one... <sighs> I don't even know what to call this, okay? Like, this is a person who just will not got dang on. I don't know, y'all. They don't want no beef with you. You need to understand you got Tower in Reverse. They got the Eight of Wands with the Tower in Reverse. They want to talk. They want to communicate. They want to communicate this love. They want to talk about this abandonment. They want to talk about this uh, walking away. They want to talk about their actions. They want to talk about, you know, this family, all right? They're confused. They want some understanding. They want to talk about change that they know that they needed to make. They want to tell you or you want to tell them about how, you know, fearful, anxiety, negative, all these feelings. They want to be vulnerable. Listen, you got the seven of wands, the seven of, uh, wands upside down, okay? This is complete vulnerability. This is basically saying, I have no pride. All right. I, I will. T I, 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 when I come to you, I will not be bringing that one drop of pride. All right. This is I have completely let my walls down. I have completely I am vulnerable. All right. I am vulnerable. It's just that simple. Like and then you got the tower reverse. OK. With the eight of wands. So what that's saying is, is whatever you want, however you want it. I mean, that's communication. Eight of Wands communication is fast communication, okay? It's talking to somebody. It's pulling up on somebody, okay? But with the tower and the verse next to it, it's it's however you want. Whatever I got to do. I don't want no beef with you. I don't want drama with you, okay? That's what that's saying. All the spirit, give me more. They don't want to fight. Give me more. Virgo, I don't know what you're going to do. 
It's all the woman here, okay? Somebody gifted. Somebody knows. Somebody got some type of sacred knowledge. Somebody got some type of clairs. Got something to do with this. Somebody don't have clarity. This person, this older woman here, okay? This person who got clairs. This person who got some type of sacred knowledge. Remember I told you in the beginning that there is somebody in hangman mode that will entertain some enlightenment? Okay. Well, we got the um the ace of uh swords in reverse okay that means that there is a chance that this person this older person that got these clears here does not have all of the information because ace of swords is ultimate truth okay that's a new beginning okay that is clarity of what i'm doing where i'm going in the situation okay so with it being in reverse y'all that means that something is not quite known all right. Remember when I told you there could be a chance here? Because if some information comes up, okay, that this person, whoever's in this hangman mode, that will entertain some enlightenment, listen, with this here eight of wands, with this communication happening, and with somebody being vulnerable and letting their guard down, you may possibly get that. Okay, that 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 missing link, that missing piece. Not you know, hey. Not saying that it can or will, you know what I'm saying, but saying it has a possibility. This can also say, as far as this um this high priestess and this uh ace of wands upside down, it can also be saying, I know better, I don't need no more information, there will be no new beginning, you know. I don't even want no more information. I know I'm not clear, but I ain't gotta be. Okay, I've already made up my mind, it could be that too. Holy Spirit give me more. Somebody, look, you got to start twice. Somebody got a whole lot of hope, okay? Somebody wants some healing, all right? Somebody wants, you know, somebody got some faith, positive. Somebody hoping on a star here, okay? Dreaming, you know, all that, okay? Virgo, it, this shit is crazy. Tell me about your new, I want to know about this new love here. This twin flame, new love. Obsessive. Somebody's obsessive here. It's an obsessive connection. Give me more, Holy Spirit. What is this? Yeah, somebody is obsessive in this connection, okay? Um, what is your twin flame? All right, just like, you know, it could be restricted, restrictions, bondage of some type of source. Somebody may have an addiction, okay? But, um, yeah, you got the four swords here with this person as well. So somebody is thinking and retreating. Give me more, Holy Spirit. Okay, we got the king of coins here, okay? So this Virgo towards Capricorn, all right? Somebody's older than somebody here. Somebody's stable. Somebody, you know, is sitting the hell down, okay? Somebody may got to catch headaches. There may be some arguments some time to time, beefing, all right? Some type of aggression. This new person, this is a new person, okay? It's love, twin flame situation, okay? You got the chariot with them, okay? They got willpower driven to succeed, even though sometimes y'all get into arguments, fights, and carrying on, person may catch headaches. They may have legal issues, okay? Um, or like I said, it could be marriage that could happen in the courthouse. Anything in the courthouse, okay? But legal issues too, okay? And this person is, can, and will be sneaky, tricky. You know what I'm saying? Lying, stealing, chilling, killing. You know, this person is not all above but bored, y'all. This person do got legal problems. You need to understand that. Somebody is being patient with them, okay? Because they full of they got lies, alibis, full of it. Strategic, enemy, deceit, thief, tricky, fake, and phony, okay? Listen, all those words, none of those words, okay? But somebody is exercising patience here with this temperance, dealing with this person, okay? Yeah, you got Queen of Swords in your energy and King of Swords, okay? So you, you have found your counterpart. But however, it's almost like, you know what I'm saying? With Queen of Swords and King of Swords, this person is constantly monitoring this okay this person is constant they want queen of swords wants truth period okay it's just that simple it is jane it's fair but wants truth she got king of swords right here okay so at any point in the game where some truth is not right with this with the situation with this twin flame love situation this is where the cutoff will be happening okay it's just straight up this is where the no-go will be happening so you know what what this feels like to me too is 
is that because this twin flame, this new love, right? We got the seven of swords, lies, alibi, strategic, enemy, deceit, thief, right? Okay, so listen, we got the queen and king of swords in this energy. Somebody is exercising patience here, all right? They're looking, they're watching, they're monitoring, okay? So depending upon how this goes, we got the page of swords here over here. Somebody is paying attention. Somebody is spying, okay? Somebody is nosy. Somebody knows something about this, all right? If this shit do not work, all right, this is where we got this person over here that's saying, I can't let go of you, all right? It's going to come in with their walls down, all right? They're coming in with their walls down. They're coming in very vulnerable, all right? With this here eight of wands energy, they don't want to fight. Look, this is maybe, remember I told you that the hangman will entertain some enlightenment? Listen, depending upon what goes on in this here relationship over here with this new person, that's where that's going to happen, y'all. This is crazy. So it may be a chance. Holy Spirit, give me more. Yeah, it may be a chance. Because uh, you do have celebration here. Somebody going to be celebrating and partying. Somebody going to have um, be getting together, okay? Tell me about the hangman. Virgo towards Capricorn, Okay. We got a single mom, single father here. Serious about their money. Could be pregnant. Could just have a baby. Give me more. Who is a giver? Okay. This person is a giver. All right. Tell me about this uh, old love. I can't let you go. Tell me about that. They want success. It's just that simple. Period. They want six of wands. All right. They want success. They want victory. I can't let you go. Give me this new love. Emperor energy. Okay. Listen. Um, it's emperor energy. We got Taurus. We got Aries. Okay. Um, this is a very mature person. Ready to sit the fuck down. Okay. Um, authoritative okay strong leader okay very comfortable in oneself however this person got burdens all right this person is stressed give me more yeah but they got mind over matter this is a strong-minded individual okay so look it all depends okay you guys this right here is crazy when i first started to read when i first pulled the energy i already said uh i was like because mm -mm, this is something right here give me drama yeah, this is something right here. You got Wheel of Fortune with the drama. Completion, achievement, lack of closure, okay? It may be some drama because of lack of closure. Something incomplete, some type of emptiness. Oh, the moon, y'all. Could be something that you cannot see in any one of these energies, all right, that will cause drama. Give me more. Pisces. Something you can't see with... uh. Leo Sagittarius Aries somewhere. Pisces, perhaps. And something that will not come to a closure. Look, you got the world upside down. All right. Somebody will not let this go. It looks like too long. Okay. That's what it looks like. Listen, there will be no closure here. You see what I'm saying? There will be no closure here. Somebody won't let a cycle in. Or not willing to. Listen, you got betrayal here. Left for dead, deep pain, alone. This got everything to do with the drama, y'all, okay? Kill, dead, deep pain, alone, pain, loss, out of time, worst it could get. Be on the lookout. I don't know which one of these crazy ass. So this could be you. Shit, I don't know. Uh, y'all, listen, this is it, y'all. I'm not, look, be on the lookout is all as I got to say, okay? So, yeah, you do, this is a lot. This is all, this is a serious reading okay so this is what i have for you virgo i love you and i will see you guys soon